Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, it's a proud moment, you know, because the first programming language in Hindi has actually come and the programming language name is Kalam. Now this programming language is inspired from our former president, that is the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007, that is APJ Abdul Kalam. He's an amazing person, guys. And, uh, you know, just by seeing, just by reading his biography, just by reading his stories, you know, we can learn a lot of things from him. If you don't know, he was born and raised in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. And he studied physics and aerospace engineering. Again, an amazing personality. So, this particular programming language is completely inspired from him, you know. And uh, this is an amazing programming language because... Yes, it has not been completely, uh, you know, created till it's stepped, but still you'll be able to do amazing uh, coding in this. You know, what all things we actually do in coding, like how to create a function, how to write if else condition, all those things we can actually do. Again, a proud moment for India itself because this coding is completely in Hindi programming language. Okay. So in Hindi language, we'll go into write this coding. So first of all, uh, there in this page, you can actually go to www.kalam.io. There you have practice, documentation, examples, about. Let's first of all go into the about section. So uh, in this, you'll be able to see that uh, it is a programming language in Hindi and has all the basic functionalities of a modern programming language from for loops to while loops and from functions to conditional statements. Program needs to reach every part of India if we have to produce more number of quality startups and technical sound ecosystem. So uh, the person uh, who has come up with this is uh, you can connect him through LinkedIn over here. So his name is uh, Swanand, uh, Swanand, Kad uh, Swanand Kadam uh, and he's the lead architect of Kalam itself, right? So definitely just go and try to connect with him. Amazing work, uh, Swanand. And uh, let's see how this coding actually works. Uh, and uh, what we can do is that just click on start coding. So this is one example. Uh, and before this, uh, let me just uh, show you one more thing, guys. I just want to go to the documentation page. Right now, in this documentation page, you have functionalities like Dikhaye. So this Dikhaye basically means that you are going to print the result in the output screen, you know, if you are using this particular function. Uh, and this will actually, if you if you say that you have created a variable like name is equal to hello world, and if you say Dikhaye name, right, it will just print that whole thing in the screen itself right so if i just go and click this here you'll be able to see um you know we have something like name is equal to hello world and then if you use the name it's just like print statement uh, or print a statement in c in, uh, in uh, python you have print statement right so if i just go and run this you'll be able to see that you know now how much speed it has actually taken to execute this particular program so first of all it has displayed hello world then uh, tic-tac-toe uh, and here you can also see that it has printed 007, right? And finally, name, Kalam, if you say that Dikhaye, uh, hello world plus my name is name, this is just like a concatenation operation along with the print statement, right? So this is actually happening and here you'll be able to see that the output is getting displayed, okay? Now coming to the other functionality, this is basically input. In input, uh, this is a function which will actually ask the users to uh, say some input itself, you know, from the keyboard. So if you just go and execute this, like it says input name, okay, and the name. So if I run it, it will first of all ask you uh, with an alert box saying that just print your name. And if you write okay, and it is then displaying this name, like the name, right? So here you can see that Krish is being getting displayed, okay? Um, apart from that, let's see some more functionalities. Uh, we have Japtak, we have uh, Shankhya, uh, Rachna. Rachna is just like functions, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll go through this. Let's let's see jab tak. Jab tak basically means jab tak mein uh, diye hue shart. So this is just like a conditional loop. So if I go and see in the condition, I'll say that count is equal to zero. So this is a variable. It says that jab tak count is less than 25. Okay. That time you just display the count and then you increment the count. That is what it is being done over here. So here you'll be able to see that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 till 24. Right. So this is one example again, uh, which says Jab Tak. 
Sankhya is uh, just like uh, directly find out the length of a string or an array or a list, anything that you can do. So suppose this is an example, I have city is equal to Bangalore, I have cities in the form of list. And if you write city dot Sankhya, that is city length and cities dot Sankhya again, if you use dot Sankhya, that is basically the length of this. And if you try to print it, you can see that the length of city is eight and the length of cities is four. Here they are uh, counting the characters. Here they are just counting the number of cities, right? Again, pretty much amazing thing, but it's still in the, I, I think it is still in the development stage. More functionalities will come. So here you have du Durao ko, uh, Durao x ko y me, okay? Ek hi code ko bar bar dohrana. So this is like repeating that code again and again, just like recursion. So it's like, uh, you know, uh, for loop, uh, I can say, Durao ko 0 comma 10 me, value is equal to x multiplied by 5 and dikhai, okay? So this is my second example. I'll just uh, remove this right now. And let's uh, execute this. And whenever you run to write a comment, it's basically written in this particular way, okay? And apart from this, this also supports Marathi, okay? Not only Hindi, it also supports Marathi. So if I try to execute this, you'll be able to see 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So it is just like a for loop, okay? This is just like a for loop, amazing, right? So let's see with respect to push, I think it is push, yeah, push to push values to array. So whenever you have creating an array, so here you'll be able to see that uh, if I take uh, this example, Udharan basically means examples, guys, okay? So I'll just remove this. I'm saying uh, for loop, okay, this is my for loop and I'm just saying that inside this list or inside this array, I'm just going to push this X value, okay? So this X is my local value, okay? So once I execute it, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, uh, an amazing work because at least someone has thought about it, you know, uh, programming language in Hindi. It will be pretty much amazing and will uh, probably if it is an open sourced completely, we'll also try to put a lot of efforts. And I think you should also try, if you have any kind of ideas, you can definitely connect with uh, Swanand Kadam and you can let him know, right? So I hope you like this particular video, but at the end of the day, I always get inspired by APG Abdul Kalam. He's an amazing personality. I'd recently been to Rameshwaram. I've also seen his house, you know, the type of house that he used to stay. Uh, it's just like simple living, high thinking, that concept, right? So yes, uh, this was all about this particular video. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.